Hi, I'm Mary Lou, Trend Forecaster on Ask an Expert with Polytech. A tricky question that's been popping up is how do I choose the joinery colours for my kitchen? There are several ways to do this. Traditionally, we would start with the floor material. A lot of the tile companies help people out with that as well, where you've got an existing material. But what I'm finding now is a lot more people are actually selecting the benchtop material first and using that as their inspiration point, because you can actually draw out a lot of colours from it. And that becomes the key or the cornerstone for the whole scheme. You can't go wrong when you, when you start off in that way. So say, for example, you've got a particular you know, bench top that you're working with, you can then see the undertones in that, whether or not it has a cool background, something that is gray or blue base, or whether it has a warm base, like something that is a warm beige or a warm off-white. And then you can link your solid colors to that. So therefore you've actually almost com com creating this solidity where you've got this underlying sort of commonality. Then from there, we can pull out a contrast or something like a timber, which in you know, many instances are present within the kitchen. And oak would have to probably be the number one that most people are working with because there are so many different versions of it. Like there's the lighter versions and the mid and the dark tones. And, and I can go into that one later because there's a lot of questions about that one. Um, and the walnuts are also trending as well. So it's a really nice way to connect all the elements together. So predominantly we might look at a, a stone pattern or a stone bench top linked with a beautiful solid colour that gives it that underlying tone and then we finish that off with the beautiful timber that creates the warmth and also gives you that sense of longevity as well. So the bench top is the way to go to use that as your key element that draws in all those elements so therefore it's not only an easier way to approach it it is a fail-proof way of ensuring that you've got a beautiful palette of colours that will withstand the test of time.